Hi YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make this simple project using the uh, timer 555. It's uh, very cool, you can do this at science fairs and stuff. Um, so those two wires um, are the switching on wires, those two other wires are switching off wires. Um, you don't need this LED, just I forgot to remove it. Um, you only need one LED, which is this one, and two other couple of wires, or three other couple of wires, a 9 volt battery. So this is how it works, touching it here, the LED turns on. Touching it the other side, you see. So if I touch it the other side, the LED turns off. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so on and off. So it's very simple to make, as I said at the beginning. So let's start and show you how we do it. Right, so um, those are the, all the stuff you need a bunch of wires, you know, just to co connect the timer to the battery. Um, those are the touch wires and a 9 volt battery to clip. Um, an IC555 timer and a breadboard. Okay, so first let's start. Um, we take our timer 555 and um, make sure that this semicircle right here at the top um, gets point or points to the left side of the breadboard. So, okay. So now, um, the pin number one, which is which is the one which has this circle right there. So right here, this circle, pin number one, two, three, four, and then the opposite side is five, six, seven, and eight. So you can see that I can see that again. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So, pin number one gets connected to the negative. Okay. So, pin number one gets connected to the negative side of the battery, like this. Okay, we've got to get it connected. Okay. Pin number eight gets connected to the positive side. Um, I don't have um, that long wire. I know I can use those one of those wires, but they they don't fit perfectly inside. I mean, um, they don't fit perfectly. I mean, I can't use one to connect it straight away. So I'm gonna use it like this and connect it again to the positive side. So from here, all the way to the positive side of the battery. Okay, just a second. Okay, so okay, pretty hard work doing it with one hand. Okay, finally. Okay, um, so. Um, the LED now. Um, you know, I think you can tell the negative side between the positive side of the LED. The one that has, you know, like this piece is cut from here. This is the negative side, or the shorter side, the shorter leg. So the negative goes. Just a second. Okay, so this is the negative side. The negative goes to pin number three, while the positive goes to the positive line of the circuit. Okay. So um, now to do the pellets and then the plates, touch plates, then we do the um, battery to put it in its place. So I'm going to use those two orange wires. Um, one orange wire gets connected to pin number one. Okay. Just like this. Pin number two gets connected to the second, uh, sorry, um, the second the second um, touch plate gets connected to pin number two just like this you can see that okay um, those are the switch off pa uh, plates now to do the, the turn on so pin number eight gets connected to one touch plate and then pin number six it gets connected to another touch plate.
Okay. So we're done now. Let me just set this straight. Okay. Now we just plug the batteries where they're supposed to go. Positive with positive and negative with negative. Just a second. Sorry for the hang up, but um, so the batteries won't fit in place. Okay, so negative with negative, positive with negative, positive. You see that the LED is showing now. Okay. Those are turned on place. Okay. And then if I touch those two, they turn off. And then they turn on and off and on. Wait, sorry. 